Welcome viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching. Today is April 10th, 2016. This is a status update on the hexagon hypothesis. I got a lot of new viewers from Truth Media Revolution and other sources, so I wanted to thank them and also to welcome the new viewers and subscribers. I consider this a group project and a group inquiry. We have a lot of interaction in the comments, email, elsewhere, so please feel free to participate in as much as possible. I thought it might make sense to go back and take a look at what we've established and where we might go from here. For instance, what is the little white sun and what relationship does it bear to any artificial sun or real sun? Why also is it always located near another light? If we accept the premise that there is an artificial sun, the hexagonal sun, where is the real sun? Has there ever been one? Let's take stock of the things that we have strong evidence for. For instance, chemtrails I think we've established very well. We have actual footage of a plane laying down chemtrails, and those chemtrails appear to not change with the wind, but rather an independent force. We have them assembling in these circles, these O's, toroids, and we have them moving across the sky, seemingly independent of the wind in a common path. We've also established that they could not be contrails by running the actual calculation of when and how contrails form, and run our data through it to determine that a contrail could not have been formed to begin with. The existence of the chemtrails being fairly well established, we've also looked at some properties, potential properties of them. This includes the ability to bend light or blend in with the surroundings, providing a cloaking or camouflaging type ability for them. We've also examined the possibility that they may form a type of lattice or interference that causes distortions with our viewing of the various objects in the sky. And that brings me to the second point that I believe we have strongly established in our inquiry. That's the presence of the little white sun. In addition to the dozens of videos that we have featuring the little white sun, I have also submissions of photos and videos from viewers and subscribers around the world. There are properties of the little white sun and relationships to the lights that we're not totally sure about. We're fairly sure it's behind or above the clouds. It's frequently obscured by another light, shows up better under clouds, and it probably has a different source based on the different appearance of the light. That is, it's whiter than the yellow light. Not as strong as the little white sun or chemtrails, I think we also have good evidence that there's a local solar object. You're looking at some of the extensive footage we have of the solar object lighting the clouds from below. We have not yet established whether this is what we see some of the time, or all of the time, or only recently. And as such, there was a curiosity about whether the sun could really be 93 million miles away. That put us on a detour in the history of physics, and we saw evidence that Kepler's law and Newtonian mechanics may not be totally true. And finally, we have good evidence of the hexagonal object in the sky. So we have the footage. We also have various patents, hundreds of them at least, showing that there are solar simulators that frequently use a hexagonal array as the shape of it. So where does that leave us? What is the status of the hexagon hypothesis? I think there are a lot of points that we could go into at this point. One of my greatest concerns starting out was potentially misleading people, or potentially directing the path of inquiry in a less than optimal direction. So I thought I would throw it back to you guys. What do you think should be the next video? What do you think should be the next lines of inquiry? I'd like to hear your comments. As usual, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share. Take care of yourselves, guys. Have a great one.